Hi everyone, welcome to the first set of tutorial on network manipulation, creation and simulation with the NetLogo platform. Uh, NetLogo is a very famous modeling and simulation platform for multi-agent multi systems and for simulation of complex systems in general. Network simulation is a part of uh, multi-agent systems uh, simulation. So NetLogo is able to, to to handle, to create, and to manipulate uh, network objects. Uh, the vocabulary of NetLogo use the word turtles to refer to the agents of your system, and uh, these turtles evolve in an environment that is uh, discretized into a grid of, of patches. Uh, there is a lot of resources to learn NetLogo via simple models. Uh, you can find uh, teaching models in the model library uh, menu of NetLogo under the file menu. Or you can also find uh, models built by community on the website modelingcommons.org. Uh, the general idea of a uh, multi-agent system is to reason at the individual level. So your individuals are the entities that constitute your systems and instead of describing the dynamic of the whole system, you just program the behavior of your entities and you observe the, the consequences on the, on the scale of the whole system. Uh, you can see that as a, a kind of methodological individualism but for coding the behavior of some multi-agent systems, systems constituted of a lot of homogeneous or heterogeneous uh, entities. So we have to think at the micro level and uh, the programming language of NetLogo um, works by asking to some entities to do something. So in this case with NetLogo we have turtles and patches so we will ask turtles to do some stuff. And we do that into uh, functions also called procedures and these functions start by the keyword to and, and, and are ended by the keyword end. So if you want to define uh, your function, you, you just type this kind of, uh, of code. There is also a graphical interface in NetLogo that shows inputs by a button sliders to, f to fix the values of the parameters of your model and outputs. So there is a, a view of the environment, but also plots and uh, monitors. Um, finally, the tutorial steps uh, that we are going to follow, uh, we, are, we will build in incrementally uh, a network uh, model, a very simple network model, uh, and we will add a feature at each step of the development of the development of the model. So, the first one is very simple. We will set up the environment, and we will add a single random link between the nodes of the environment. In network 2, we will take the network 1 model and add uh, a feature that uh, add the links, but on the same node, from the same node. Uh, network 3 will add the mechanism of adding n links at the same time. Network 4 uh, will be with plots uh, for degree distribution, in our case. And the final model will be, will be uh, the all the previous one, and with a uh, node size uh, display and uh, the uh, lay la uh, layout function to make our network uh, look better. So um, that's it for the PowerPoint uh, part of uh, this tutorial. And now I will launch uh, NetLogo, which is here. So when you open NetLogo, you have uh, this kind of uh, display. Okay. So this is the interface panel. In fact, in every model you have three panels. So this is interface panel. This is info uh, panel where you can put some description of your uh, your model. And this is the code part of your model. The black square you see here is, is the world of your model, the environment of your model. And uh, you can add uh, elements to this interface like buttons uh, let's say that I name this button foo. Uh, a slider, uh, for example, to define some values uh, into a range of numbers. So let's say that uh, we have a slider that goes from 0 to uh, 100 and, and called the variable bar. 
OK. Uh, you can add some plots uh, to display some values, but also a lot of different um, elements of interface. So uh, this is for output uh, in addition to the world. And uh, another output is a monitor that is uh, just a value. Uh, and you can call it whatever you, the name you want. So let's say that uh, it will be x1. Um, and that's it pretty much for the interface. Um, I will stop this video here and in the, the network one uh, part of the tutorial we will uh, create our first uh, turtles. So we will do pretty much uh, this kind of, uh, of code. So it could, should be this. Uh, no, it doesn't work, but in the, <laughs> in the next video uh, you will see the proper syntax. Okay, thank you. Bye.